Ayun. <laughs> Welcome sa ating CLJ Notes channel. Kung hindi ka pa subscriber, paki-subscribe at paki-on na rin ang notification bell para ikaw ang unang makapanood ng mga bagong updated uploaded na videos natin. Okay? And then waiver natin ang mga materials natin ay iba't ibang sources ang pinanggalingan hindi sila originally from sa atin at ito ay for academic purposes lang okay and then punta na tayo sa ating okay sa ating lesson ngayon so simulan ta magsisimula na tayo sa new lesson felonies okay so ano ang felonies? So, ang definition of felonies, felonies are acts and omissions punishable by the revised penal code. So, kapag ang isang bagay na pinaparusahan ng batas ay pinaparusahan specifically ng revised penal code, ang tawag natin ay felony. Halimbawa, pinaparusahan siya ng special law, pwedeng tawagin crime, or pwedeng kapag municipal ordinance, city ordinance, infraction, misdemeanor, okay, offenses okay so pero pagdating sa mga crimes na napapaloob sa revised penal code felony ang tawag natin the elements of felonies in general are that there must be an act or omission that the act or omission must be punishable by the revised penal code that the act is performed or the omission incurred by means of dolo or culpa okay by act must be understood any bodily movement tending to produce some effect in the external world it being unnecessary that same be actually produced as the possibility of its production is sufficient so sapat na na yung ginawa mong external act ay nag-cause nung tinatawag nating chain of events na nag-result sa damage example of an act A took the watch of B with intent to gain and without the consent of the latter. The act of taking the watch of B with intent to gain constitutes the crime of theft. Only external act is punished because internal acts are beyond the sphere of human law. Hence, a criminal thought or a mere intention, no matter how immoral or improper it may be, will never constitute a felony. So, halimbawa, may kagalit ka, si X galit kay Y, pwede niyang milyon-milyong beses na patayin si Y sa isipan niya, pero hanggang noon lang, walang crime, walang felony na ginawa. Kasi walang external act. Okay. Halimbawa, immoral <laughs> thoughts. O, nakita mo si beautiful X habang naka, habang nag represent si X sa harap ng classroom kung ano-anong naiisip mong immoral, oh, wala kang nagawang krimen kahit na immoral yung iniisip mo. Kasi nga walang external act. Pero pag may external act ka na naginawa na punishable, oh, ibang usapan na yan. By omission is meant in action. The failure to perform a positive duty which one is bound to do. There must be a law requiring the doing or performing of an act. So, yun yung omission. Kapag may pinapagawa ang batas na hindi mo ginawa, omission yun. So, that is also punishable. Kasi may inaction. Examples of felony by omission. Sa Article 213, Paragraph B, okay, an officer entrusted with collection of taxes who voluntarily fails to issue a receipt as provided by law is guilty of illegal exaction. Another one, every per sa Article 116, every person owing allegiance to the Philippines without being a foreigner and having knowledge of any conspiracy against the government who does not disclose and make known the same to the proper authority is liable for misprision of treason. And then, anyone who fails to render assistance to any person whom he finds in an uninhabited place wounded or in danger of dying is liable for abandonment of persons in danger. So, yun. Halimbawa, may, halimbawa yung sa story ng Good Samaritan, di ba? Yung dumaan na una, religious leader, umiwas lang siya, doretso siya. Okay, yung Samaritan, yun ang tumulong. Yung nauna, yung religious leader na yun should have been guilty of abandonment of person in danger alinsunod sa Article 275 
paragraph 1 of the Revised Penal Code kung halimbawa nangyari yun dito sa Pilipinas. Classification of felonies according to the means by which they are committed, intentional felonies, and culpable felonies. So, intentional felonies, culpable felonies. Culpa and intent. Intentional felonies distinguish from culpable felonies. In intentional felonies, the act or omission of the offender is malicious. The offender in performing the act or incurring the omission has the intention to cause an injury to another. On the other hand, in culpable felonies, the act or omission of the offender is not malicious. The injury caused by the offender to another person is unintentional, it being simply the incident of another act performed without malice. The wrongful act results from imprudence, negligence, lack of foresight, or lack of skill. Okay. Dolo is not properly translated to deceit. Yung sinasabi natin kanina, mali ang translation. No? Dolos is equivalent to malice, which is the intent to do an injury to another. So, dolo and culpa. So, pag siya ay sinasabing felony by means of dolo, okay, there is intent to do an injury to another. Felonies committed by means of fault or culpa, you have malversation through negligence, evasion through negligence, imprudence or negligence. Pero may mga crimes tayo na hindi pwedeng, uh, hindi pwedeng mangyari through culpa. No? Crimes which cannot be committed through imprudence or negligence. Murder. Kasi sa murder talagang pinagplanuhan mo yan. May, may element of treachery, di ba? May element ng concealment, yung tinatawag nating halimbawa, gumamit ka ng mga ways para mahatago ang identity mo. Treason, pinagplanuhan talaga. Robbery, syempre, pinagplanuhan. Malicious mischief, pinlanuhan. So, ito yung mga crimes na to cannot be committed by imprudence or negligence. Homicide, pwede. Okay, reckless imprudence resulting in homicide, di ba? O halimbawa, hindi ka doktor, nagdoktor, doktoran ka, binigyan mo ng gamot si ex na ikinamatay niya, reckless imprudence resulting in homicide. Kasi hindi mo naman intentional na patayin siya. Kasi kung intentional, intentionally gusto mo siyang patayin, hindi na siya reckless imprudence. Okay, pwede na siyang maging uh, homicide or pwede na siyang murder kapag may treachery or iba pang elemento. Okay, so malinaw ang ating discussion sa prelimi preliminary matters and felonies. Kapag may mga comment kayo o tanong, ilagay ninyo sa comment section para yung iba na gustong malinawan mas maging malinaw pa sa kanila. Kung gusto niyo i-discuss pa ng gusto yung mga ibang mahalagang bagay na hindi natin na-discuss, pwede niyo gawin yun sa comment section para matulungan natin yung mga kapwa natin. Okay, so kailangan magtulungan tayo para naman ma-hurdle natin ang boarding sound ng maayos. Maraming salamat!